happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Prunus J160. This is an AM FM shortwave radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. You can find these on Amazon selling for around $26.99. I think mine had a coupon for a few bucks off. So brought the price down, which is a good thing. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, so it comes in a cool box. They changed their boxing. It looks like they come in the red and white boxes now. Cool. Furnace tech. Yeah, this uh, radio is similar to one I reviewed in the past. And the reason why I picked this one up is because you can still get this one. And the other one you cannot. So this was uh, kind of fun. So let's get into it. So that's the back. Nothing real special. So I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get inside. So you get a patch cable. Got to zoom this down a little bit. Yeah, it has auxiliary in, which is nice. So they give you a stereo patch cable. Nice. Hook up your tinny radios to it to make them sound better. Charging cable, interesting, old school. They went USB and mini USB. You don't see that too often anymore. Um, there you are. I don't mind the mini USBs. Next we have our manual. Here you go. Uh, my radio is gold. The one pictured here is red. My wife likes the red. So we have a red. <laughs> so we have two of them. I'm going to show them to you in a second. Uh, so here's the manual. Let's go ahead and flip it real quick. As you can see, it's got all the functions. Yeah, pretty cool radio. I really like the retro feel of it. And uh, its performance is rather good. Here's some specifications. As you can see, it's got a built-in battery. 18650, by the way. That's cool. Um... 1800 milliamp hour. It's better than a thousand. Uh, some of those BL5C batteries are. So good to see that. Nice. It has shortwave coverage as well. Um, there's it. Okay. Put that there. I think we're pretty much through this. How to charge it. We'll go over that. How to use. Keep away from devices that put off RFI like a refrigerator, microwave, or your phone. <laughs> it's true. Uh, there's Bluetooth. It's cool. It's nice as a Bluetooth speaker. Love it. There you go. Play SD cards, which we're going to do today, and then USB. Okay, and we're done with the manual. There's some QR codes. Canada, US, UK. It's going into focus. Whatever. There you go. You can email them too. All right. So let's get to the radio. Boom, front and center. I got the gold version. I really like the color. It's old school, antique looking. I like that. Um, so let's go over dimensions. We're five and one eighths of an inch in length. We're three and a half inches high, and we have a depth case is three inches. So it's got a lot of depth to it. And it has some modding potential, which I'm going to address here in a little bit for some fun, fun factor for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's do size comparison. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and zoom this up. All right. So oh, cloth there. Okay. So we have CC pocket. Um, kind of dwarfed by this radio. It's cool. It just looks like a little mini tabletop. Here is the CC Skywave. So yeah, definitely almost the dimensions of a Skywave, um, but not as thick of course. So yeah, 160 is definitely thicker. There you go. You can have some awesome audio for sure. And let's get, uh, let's see what else I got. The cards here handy. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can tune it like no one can. He loves Prunus radios from, can you guess it? China Land, Rocket Man. Iron Man, okay, yep, standard deck. Playing cards, makes it work good. Also, yeah, let's bring in the one my wife liked. I had to get it. She liked the red, the red looks sharp, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's got a cool red cherry cabinet. It's all plastic, of course, uh, but it looks good. It's got the high gloss brass dial there, and it's got this really fun red front. She loves it. Um, gorgeous looking radio. Um, so we're looking for something for the significant other that likes radios, but she doesn't really care for some of the styles you bring home, like the black ones. <laughs> Get her one of these. She'll love it. Um, mine does. She's all excited about it. Wants to put on a dresser, wants to show it off when people come over. Take it out as a Bluetooth speaker. She's happy. 
So let's go ahead and zoom this down and go over features of the J160. Uh, here we are. Okay, so as you can tell, same plastics as the red one, just a different color. Got this gold wood grain, cool antique looking. On the front here, we have a two inch speaker approximately. I just measured the vent holes and tear this radio apart, which you can, by the way, but just will void your warranty. Uh, that's that modding potential I was talking about. <laughs> Here's our dial. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's an illuminated one, which you'll get to see in a moment when I turn the radio on. Outside band's FM, 87 to 108. Middle band is AM, 522 to 1620. Now, I think the AM band, I can pick up some local stations, no problem. But picking up some faint stations, I was having difficulties. And uh, the AM band might be stepped at 9 kilohertz, and that might be my reason. Just uh, want to bring it to your attention. Shortwave band, we have 5.9 megahertz to 18 megahertz. Kind of a daytime band, but we should be able to pick up something at around 5.9 tonight, hopefully. Buttons, we have a pause, play, and mode select. Uh, mode select lets you go from Bluetooth to auxiliary in to your MP3 player by pressing and holding it. Uh, that's really handy. Um, when you're on Bluetooth mode, of course, track back, track forward. When you're in MP3 mode, you can uh, rewind and fast forward as well. I like that. Down here, a little red LED flashes when you're in Bluetooth mode or playing music with the SD card. Here we have uh, selecting the function. We have, or the fun <laughs> knob, it's pretty funny. Uh, music, FM, AM, shortwave, on off volume control. Right inside the radio, a lot going on here. We have a USB input to play off of USB thumb drives. Um, those are nice, I like using them. I'll be using a SD card. I like a little micro SD card slot there. I expect to, it to support the 32 gigabytes. It doesn't say in the manual, I don't think. But I usually use 16 gigabytes, which is fine with this radio. Auxiliary input, that's for that patch cable. You can patch in your, like I said, tinny sounding radio, radios. You want to sound nice like a CC Pocket or Skywave, and you want some bass to it. Sounds good. Uh, just use a nice long length of wire. I usually use about three foot cable and keep the right, this radio away from the other radio and you won't have any interference. Here's your input for charging the radio, that mini USB. And there's a little charging indicator here. It's solid red when charging. And when that light goes off, unplug it. All right. Top of the radio, we have an antenna. I like that. Fixed antenna. It's not very long. Um, it's uh, eight and three, uh, eight and one quarter inches. So yeah, it still does well on FM, which I'm surprised. On the back here, Prunus got some information here, prunustech.com. It's got all that going on, three band, USB auxiliary TF card player. There's some of your frequency information, power source, and a little bass response in the back here. Now you can peel this label off. I did that on the red one a little bit because it was a little loose. <laughs> there's a screw hole here, here. So there's four screws. Just pull up the corners gently and uh, you can get to those screws. And you can pull this radio apart, access the battery, you can upgrade the battery um, if you're uh, so inclined and you have skills uh, to a higher capacity or to like a 21700. So you got to make some room for it. I think that's kind of cool. So you can modify this radio. You could add jacks to it. You could add a shortwave antenna jack if you'd like. Uh, that'd be fun. Just different things you could do to, to just modify your little radio. <laughs> I love it. Some people even change the dial light, though I like the golden look to it. So we talked about FM reception before I turn it on, and then we'll go through the bands and we'll do a demo of the radio. So first FM reception, um, FM sensitivity was great. Uh, it got a score of 60, which puts it in the solid uh, three-star category, which is good. Uh, most radios score between OK and good, which is about 42 stations found in my area. That's for an older radio such as the Analog Realistic here. It's about 40 to 45 stations on FM. This does better because it has a DSP chip in it, digital signal processor. I like them because it locks on the station and it stays locked on. And that's nice. It doesn't drift away. Um, you'll get to hear that when I'm tuning the radio. It could be a little finicky, but uh, this one's not too bad. It likes to lock on stations. FM selectivity was okay to good because it does like to lock on stations. It was hard to get that sensitivity. Uh, even with that little antenna, I was moving it around quite a bit, trying to get those in. Uh, but uh, did a solid performance on FM. Pretty happy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in a little micro uh, micro SD card, USB card. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And it goes in, but it doesn't go in all the way. It's just friction fit. It sticks out. And that's important to notice. So if you're carrying this radio like in a backpack, store your little micro SD card somewhere else. Don't store it in the radio or you will break that off. Uh, another option is using a thumb drive, which is more substantial and less likely to break off. I, I use those little low profile ones from SanDisk. Those are great. 
So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll do an audio demo. Let's see, music, let's turn this on. Play by TF card. Happy sacred stone. <laughs> you crazy mother. So what we're gonna do here, let me just pause this. Um, we're gonna play this music for a few minutes and then uh, we'll go through the bands. So let's give it a go. Testing the Y. That's me. <laughs> zero, zero, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, 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 two. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs> loud really quick so just keep that in mind so you can get it pretty quiet if you take your time here with the volume knob so you go from little to loud not by not going far so it gives you an idea um so let's um find some old-time radio shows the couple next door written by peg lynch and starring peg lynch and alan bunce <laughs> Time. Well, here, let me help. I think my nail polish is dry by now. Here, Darn let me help silly, you anyhow. Here, try it. Getting all dressed up, driving way out to this fancy French restaurant. Uh, the Damon Runyon Theater. The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. Many of Mayor to Williger's social activities. Consequently, it was quite a plum when the mayor asked him to play golf at the country club. <laughs> My George Gildersleeve, you really scored. Isn't everybody who gets invited to play golf with the boss? Yeah, where are my clubs? Yeah, must be here in the garage somewhere. Hi, Al. Hello, Leroy. What are you doing cleaning out the garage? Yeah, you know, I'm looking for something. A car? <laughs> so there you go. That's cool. This radio is great for playing old-time radio since it's a retro theme. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and unplug that or pull the SD card out. Uh, so what I want to do here, I want to demo real quickly the auxiliary in. I think that'd be fun. So if I can get a cable over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a patch cable I have handy, about a three-footer, plug it in the auxiliary in here. 
Okay, trying to do it on camera. All right. And then what I have is I have a CC Pocket here. It's 1048 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, for tuning things. But what we're going to do is just show you what it's like. Uh, I want to turn the radio on. You know, between March 10, 2020, and March 10, 2022. So that's what it sounds like on the little CC Pocket with its standard speaker, which isn't that great. So let's hook up the auxiliary cable, and we'll turn this on. That's going to go to Bluetooth, and then just press and hold. AUX mode. There we go. Um, whoops, speaker mode on my CC pocket. There we go. Involved the New York Post story about Hunter Biden's potentially corrupt foreign deals when his father was running for president. So to get close, to get interference. Twitter censored the story by blocking it from getting shared, suspending the New York Post account for more than two weeks, and suspending any account that did actually dared to uh, reference the story, which was authenticated by the New York Times, by the way, which is considered. <laughs> At Wrigley Field, you know. Where is Sean, too? What do you think of the uh, can of the plate tonight? He's good. I tell you, Max, I, I told you, well, four or five days ago, he was close to kind of getting it going. He had some big, big at bats for us. And I tell you, he, he caught a shutout tonight. Really good one, too. And. So that sounds really good. That's uh, WCBS out in New York, New York, 150 miles with this little pocket. So it sounds great using an auxiliary speaker to listen to your little radio, especially if you're trying to DX with them. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. But yeah, I wanted to show you the auxiliary, and that's pretty cool. Uh, that always sounds good. Um, so we're in that mode still. Uh, let's go ahead, and we're going to hook up a little wire. We need a little range, and that range is going to come from hooking up the wire to this radio. Okay, I have it all. Smash. This is just a little 12 foot wire. It's hanging on the inside of my window blinds. And this is going to help us with FM and it's going to help us with shortwave. So we're going to go to the shortwave band because there's not going to be much happening on shortwave, I don't think. So we're going to select all the way to the top. The little selector doesn't quite show where it's at, but it is all the way up to shortwave. There we go. I can't wait, he says, I would love when he was here in the playback. He says, I would love, I can't wait to have like three. So I think we're at 5950. The inquiry, let's see, he says, that would be three. All right, well, um, I'm turning this up for the and um, I just thank and praise the Lord for it. As I turn it, you'll hear it stepping. Symphony Orchestra and things uh, that are done. Can you imagine 144,000 first one time? Everybody's got a fucking opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Don't expect to find much. Amigo, ¿quién va a sonar pero por encima de las cosas? I think we're at a Cuban station. Again, not a super accurate dial. This is probably around 6300. <laughs> Some distant stations here. Talk about fading signals. If I had a longer wire, it might help pull it in. So this is nice. Just uh, neat to have on a inexpensive Bluetooth speaker. You got shortwave. It's great. Uh, during the day, I picked up around 14 stations. Not bad. Using a 22 foot wire on outside.
Now we're in the 9 megahertz range. When these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Unquote. Yes, the end will be traumatic. It's meant to be. Yahweh wants... That's uh, 10 megahertz. That's a uh, WWV time signal in uh, Colorado. It's about 850 miles away. Uh, so yeah, that's where 10 megahertz is on the dial. To get an idea. Cool. Nice to pick that up in the evening. Okay, and we're done with the daytime band. So let's go ahead and go to FM. So AM, FM. We'll go ahead and just scroll through. Really quick, I can't hover on music, and then we'll do the AM band, and we'll do some final thoughts on this little bad boy. The J160 Retro Radio. I love it. I love the red, too. <laughs> kind of wish I had the red myself. He has loosed the faithful lightning. Of his terrible swift sword, he... If you're having conversations about college selection and campus tours... Reminds them of where they've come from, and hopefully gives them hope on where they're going. You and renew. If new games are even better, then everybody wins. That report from Lee Milner. So, final few words from you for this week then, Bill Thompson. What do you make of what you've just heard? I think it important point. I mean... Sensitive radio when I'm using this wire. Wow, nice. Edelson Buick GMC, located at 6201 South LaGrange Road in Hodgkins, Illinois, for sales. 92.7, it's pointing at 93. Whether you're looking for a new or pre-owned Buick or GMC, used cars, sales, service, or something else. at the Pelicans lineup and see with Trey Murphy on the floor. K-Book, annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers from a leading financial firm. 94.7, I think. Retirement. That's right. Free. This free book reveals little known truths. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. 21 years of age or older to wager. Illinois only. Gamble. Right now, the bigger get the bigger reason to. We have some early music now by Richard Strauss. Classical music, ninety-eight seven. Of, uh, it's pointing at something like ninety-nine. When he wrote this piece, and in writing it, he was certainly influenced by his father, who was one of the great horn players of his time, and. From you, I miss your touch. Are we last kissing or will we be reminiscing with each other for the next? Get right, I promise that we go. It's 
dick. Sing how you did. I know now. Like me, uh -huh. daddy from the street, so he moved low key. Again, tugging and rubbing, loving it all. <laughs> I'm still mad. The handsome man without the more than a month ago. The Biden administration is expanding availability of the COVID pill. Paxlo Here's a WBBM on 105.9. It's nice. So they listen to old-time radio on this station. It's shown to reduce hospitalization and death from... It's getting uh, pretty good accuracy. This is 106 it's pointing at. So that's, yeah, right in the money. Embassy in Ukraine. The Pentagon. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the FM band. That was pretty cool. A lot on there. I like it. Take the wire off. We're going to go to the AM band and do some final thoughts. I'll go to the bottom. You, know, you can hear kind of those tunes. I'll use this internal antenna. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this up. And we're probably just going to pick up some strong vocals. That's all I could really pick up during the day. It's really quiet. That's why I have a feeling it's 9 kilohertz stepped. Kelm says over 200 tips from the public poured in. These tips were critical to solving this case. Police began searching. So I'll turn the volume all the way up to hear anything. Wisconsin, police say they've increased their patrol around schools. The body of Ileana Lily Peters was found Monday morning near a walking trail in Chippewa. Police are investigating her death as a mountain farm studio inside the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center. We are 6:50 a.m. WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. So our 650 to BSM, 434 miles. So it's sensitive, but it's I think it's like again tuned at nine kilohertz. Zach Galbanon will be broadcasting live from Las Vegas at the NFL Draft. Here's 670. So that should Score, be a fun Chicago. experience on Friday. So make sure you stay tuned. We got a couple of callers here. Who later died? The Crest and Spring census has accused of supplying that patient with 60 oxygen. I think this is 700 WLW. 300 miles to the east. Over several weeks back in August 2020, but the prescriptions. So not you can pick up your AM purpose. stations. Just it's not going to be a DX machine for AM. According to court documents. So Ten years. The Russian military intent. No, you can hear this game. Beautiful. This is 720. Um, if you tune in 9 kilohertz radio, you know 720 is a standard frequency. So, yeah. with Russia's president. For me, it's great. 720 WGN, a lot of cool radio shows. Officials in Mariupol battered by Russian bombs, missile. So let's go quickly up the band. This is Zuma Radio. You can hear it. But yeah, it's not picking it up strong because it's off tuned. Inspection found that while the company's severe weather procedures meant minimal federal it's 780 WBBM. for storm sheltering, the company. I support Black Lives Matter strongly and passionately. And Richard Urban wants to be your Republican candidate for governor. 99.5 Victor HD. This is Ben Flip the band kind of quick. Schumer says the Democrats will be full program. Improving Americans' daily lives. We're pushing like... That was 890, by the way, with a little pitch tone coming from the camera. Talks about how important gelling is. And 1,000 WMVP, Chicago. After his first three games, when, yes, the Celtics were great, but he... Probably 1020, KDK, Pittsburgh. Logging. Walsh holding Strahd first. Down to 2 1. Way outside with a changeup. Lunging to his left was spinning Dodgers and Diamondbacks. The stage crowded. See the bad lights. Well, right along, so we take chance. So let's go to the top of the band. Constructing their own team. And we were. 
study from the Governor's Highway Safety Association. The study underscores... I guess 1610, CHHA, Toronto. Okay, yeah, it makes sense because it only goes to 1620. All right, well, there it is. The J160, does it get a recommended buy? Yeah, for sure. You get so much for around 25 bucks. I absolutely love it. Love the retro theme. Uh, I like the auxiliary in. That's really handy to have. Does it need a headphone jack? Not for me. This thing is a big enough radio where I use it more of a tabletop for fun, for entertaining. With the Bluetooth, uh, definitely nice. I load up my little MP3 player uh, with a bunch of old-time radio if I don't want to use an SD card. I typically like using the SD card slot for that, too. Uh, that's really handy. I like the illuminated dial. I think it's nice. The FM is pretty sweet on this radio. Shortwave is actually very cool. Uh, to use it for shortwave listening. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that, how well that works. And, uh, yeah, there's just so much to this little radio that it's definitely worth the money. Plus, if you have some skills, you can modify it. You know, you can get in there, maybe put a bigger antenna in. You could put an antenna jack, like I mentioned. Uh, all kinds of fun things you can do with this radio. Um, just again, we'll avoid your warranty if you pull that sticker off. Just letting you know. <laughs> but I like it and I might modify mine. If I do, yes, I will post a video on here and show you guys how to do it. <laughs> Definitely upgrade the battery, put an antenna jack in, do some fun stuff. Yeah, maybe change dial light, maybe do green. I don't know. I like the amber though, it looks good. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like Prunus radios and want to see more, always subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of deals. Like if I find a deal, I'll post it. And those with the little bell icon click do get notified. And three, comment below what you think about the Prunus J160. Do you like it in gold? Do you like it in red? I think red's pretty sharp. Um, I'm digging the red. Uh, I just, I didn't want to get it for the review because red on red kind of, you know, kind of gets lost on my tablecloth. I went to the gold, but uh, my wife liked the red. She wanted it and it looks good. <laughs> it really does. Um, so yeah, let me know uh, what you think about these radios and uh, one is in the future for you. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.